Hello, I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man, and I'm with Alistair Ward. Alistair is a senior associate in JMW's cycling department, and the cycling department also encompasses e-scooters as well. Hello, Alistair. Morning, Dom. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And Alistair, we're talking about e-scooters today. So although I say you work in a, a specialist cycling department, which you do, um, you also encompass e-scooters. I know that JMW has um, commissioned some research, really, and it's quite startling. I think more than 50%, so 52% of people surveyed didn't realise um, that it was illegal to use a, an e-scooter. And the stats say something like 29% of people thought they could use it on a public road. 16% of people thought they could even ride one on on a pavement so i just wondered if you could just give a bit of clarification you know are scooters that you buy on the internet say are they legal to use on the road i think the first thing i'd say is that e-scooters are very much a, a new phenomenon so i'm, I'm not surprised by the the stats and, and, and the level of um i'm not gonna say ignorance that's a bit harsh on people isn't it but the fact that a lot of people don't know uh, about the the legalities of, of e-scooter use on the public roads it, that's that's not a shock to me you know th th these things have sprung up mainly in the last couple of years i'd say I, perhaps they've been more noticeable during the the pandemic when the roads have been a lot quieter and using e-scooters has become uh potentially a lot safer because you're not less, less likely to come into contact with uh, with cars uh, so yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me in, in the slightest. But yes, it's correct. Uh, E-scooters are not legal for use on the, the public highway. Now, there's a, there's a slight distinction to be made there because e-scooters themselves, are not, there is no law that says uh, an e-scooter is illegal on the road. But under the Road Traffic Act, uh, an e-scooter that's used on the public road has to be taxed, has to be insured, uh, and potentially has to be registered as well. So the type of scooters that people just buy or e-scooters that people buy from uh, you know, online providers, they are not likely to be uh, legal for use on the public road. You can use them on private land with permission, so you can use them quite happily on your own driveway um, or on somebody else's private land if you've asked them. But as soon as you go out onto the pavement or to the pub, onto the, uh, the public roads, um, then potentially, yes, you, you're committing a crime. And I know that's the topic of a, another discussion with my colleague, Helen, um, which obviously you've, you've had previously, but uh, I'm not going to go into that in any great detail. But there is that risk that, yes, you are out there uh, committing an offence and, and there can be penalties that flow from that. And I want to draw another little distinction as well, Alistair, is that there is also government backed schemes where you can perfectly legally um, hire an e-scooter and they're being rolled out over a number of cities. And really, it's those sorts of riders that you help, isn't it, if they uh, if they become involved in, in some sort of an injury? Absolutely, yeah. There's there's a lot of uh, trial schemes that have, have popped up across the country. I think we started off with a few of the London boroughs. Um, there is a scheme in Birmingham. There's there's one in Liverpool. I was in Liverpool uh, a couple of weekends ago, and, and they are everywhere. There are people e-scooting all over the shop, um, which is, I suppose, in a sense, it, it's good to see. But there are you know pitfalls as we'll come on to. Um, and even in my own hometown of Rochdale, I actually discovered this yesterday. Um, that uh, there's a, there is a, a trial scheme going on in Rochdale, right, as we, as we speak, and that's on for, I think, a year. And I think a lot of councils are, at the moment, you know, it is very much a trial thing. Um, it's just about an, an alternative form of transport, getting people out of their cars and, and so on and so forth, which is, which is great to say, yes. And so if somebody's injured on a, a and let's talk about a government back to, you know, a, 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 one of those trial schemes that you mentioned, like, in, mm. you know, um, what happens if what's your practical advice if somebody is injured on on the scooter? Um, assuming like, focusing for a minute on that, that this is a. a, a an e-scooter versus car type scenario or some, you know, a road traffic collision. I mean, the rules are very, very similar to, to that for a bike. So if you are an e-scooter user in a bike lane and let's say a car cuts across you, um, then it, the rules are very much as they would be for a bike. It's akin to the, the, the highway code. Um, my advice is, and I appreciate if you're injured and you're the one that's on the floor, it, it's difficult to, perhaps to do this, but to try and get as much information as possible at the scene. Um, hopefully there will be a police attendance uh, there, but if there isn't, you know, get either, if you can call the police yourself, call the police, or get somebody around you to call the police, get witness details. If you're able to take photographs, take photographs, or get somebody else to take photographs, that kind of evidence can be invaluable. Sadly, we have seen a bit of an uptick, not just in e-scooter cases, but also in, in cycling cases, of drivers 
um, leaving the scene. Now, it might be that they're unaware of the damage that they've caused or they simply don't want to get caught and get in trouble, but uh, we have seen that sort of thing happen. So it is important to try and get as much information as you can at the, uh, at the time. I fully appreciate that's easier said than done. If you're the one that's been knocked off, you're on the, on the ground, you're dazed, shocked, confused, and, and not really knowing what day it is. Um, but just do your best, you know. Alistair, thank you very much for your insight. It's nice to speak to you. And of course, if you'd like uh, more specialist advice uh, on a cycling accident or an e-scooter accident, you can contact Alistair directly. Uh, Inside man at jmw.co.uk or call 0161 82 81999. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.